Good morning, everybody. So you all know how I like to get out here early, come home from working out and get out here and do some lawn work. Well, we had a storm last night and, oh, hold up. So I wanted to come out and do some damage control and see what happened out here. I could check my rain gauge. Look at that. Dang, we got like over an inch of rain. It's pretty awesome. Although the Bermuda grass is kind of going dormant right now. It's getting chilly, but that is good for the rye overseed project. So this headlamp um, is perfect because this is the time that I like to get out here, but since the days are getting shorter, oh, here, hang on, I can do this too. That way you guys can probably actually see me Whoa, I got like my lightsaber thing here. Oh, and I did want to tell you guys, I uh, my birthday is coming up this weekend and so I'm planning a little giveaway. At the end of this video, I'll tell you about that. We're doing a little giveaway, some exciting stuff going on from Lawn Star too. So uh, I'll tell you about that at the end though. So this company, Illu Shine on Amazon was looking out for me because they sent me this headlamp, which this headlamp's only like $15.99 on Amazon, which is crazy because I remember I got like a camping headlight when I was in college. It's one of those out outdoor brands, way more expensive than $15, and it was nothing anywhere close to this good. But I'm out here looking around. I got a bunch of leaves on my chipping green, um, and so I'm wanting to blow those off. So I got my blower here, got my lightsaber. <laughs> this is also from Illushine. They sent me both of these things for free. The Illushine thing's kind of cool because you can split it up into two different lights or you can hook them together, and it's pretty neat. But anyway, I need to blow some of these leaves off. Love my chipping green. It's not looking too bad out here. The willow tree, I had already trimmed some branches, so that's not looking terrible. I think there was some pretty hard wind, but it's not looking too shabby. Oh, what's this? Here's the destruction from the heavy wind right here. <laughs> we will recover. Okay, we're out here at Sweet Oak Hollow. I'm actually kind of embarrassed to show you guys this. I have excuses, you wanna hear my excuses? The last two weekends I've had weddings to go to, so I really haven't done much lawn work at all, and this just totally took off. I think I was, uh, I was behind before those last two weekends, but this just like got way ahead of me, has gotten way out of hand. The weeds are insane. So I'm gonna take care of it now. I've been meaning to do this for a long time. I'm gonna put in a live edge bed here at Sweet Oak Hollow and just get rid of all these weeds. This is like my main project here, I think, for the remainder of this year. I've got a couple little seating areas and that sort of thing, but we're sort of on standby for the rest of the year and I'm not gonna do anything hugely crazy. So this is like the, the main thing as we go into the fall. Um, but yeah, live edge, I got tons of nut sedge, lots of Bermuda grass creeping into that flower bed. So uh, anyway, I'll show you guys some cool stuff and how I'm gonna take this flower bed from crap to fabulous in just a few weeks. <laughs> so let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so right here I'm going pretty deep. We might be down. I don't know, it's probably six inches right along the inside edge of this thing, but it might slope down into like a maybe nine inch trough, eight inch, nine inch, somewhere in there. But what's gonna happen is over time, the dirt from the flower bed side of this trench that I'm digging is gonna cave in a little bit. And so what you'll have is a slope that goes from the, the flower bed to the bottom of the straight edge, the live edge going straight down from the grass side. So it'll slowly kind of fill up over time and you have to kind of dig that out. But uh, I like to start with it really deep so that it can, you know, when it rains, like I said, that mulch and all that dirt's gonna kind of slope down into that trough. I'm gonna bring in more mulch 
fill in some of that myself so that after there's mulch down in that trough a little bit, then I'll still have like a six inch drop off so that when the Bermuda runners are trying to creep in there, it's easy to cut them with a weed eater um, or if they even get in there and start to try to take root down into the mulch, it's real easy just to pull them out because they're trying to send roots down in the mulch and they have to go really far before they get the dirt. They're really easy to pull out um, when that happens. So that's why I'm going so deep right here and uh, it's gonna end up looking great all in the end. If you've been watching the lawn tools for very long at all, you know that I hate weed eating. And as you can see, I'm way behind, <laughs> at least over here at Sweet Oak Hollow, like I'm behind on everything over here at Sweet Oak Hollow. But I've been trying to figure out what to do with this rock and I think I'm just gonna have to accept that I'm gonna need to weed eat more. I, I, I thought about getting some rotary scissors. I just don't know if that's gonna motivate me to use them more and keep up with it. Maybe, I, I don't know. I, probably not, honestly. But so I was trying to figure out something to do with this rock. The rock is awesome. It's really, really cool. And I wanted to maybe even like dig a live edge all the way around it. I thought about that, but for future fun things like with mini golf or whatever, I don't want to do a live edge because that will isolate this little secret tunnel here. Um, and that could be kind of cool for future use. So I'm, I'm gonna leave it as it is, at least for now, and we'll see. Okay, so it's day two. I got the edge dug all the way around. I'm gonna go and fine tune it with the weed eater again. Hate weed eating, but uh, I don't mind edging. I like edging, especially with a stick edger with a blade on it. I like that. I just don't like weed eating. I think the dream would be to hire somebody to come and weed eat, string trim my uh, edges, and then I'll do the mowing. I just don't like weed eating. Anyway, so I'm terrible at it, but you get to see uh, how an amateur <laughs> clears out the edges with a weed eater string trimmer, if you're one of these fancy people that uses that term. Okay, next step in the process is killing all of the Bermuda grass that's in that flower bed. This stuff is pretty cool. High yield grass killer, four flower beds. It's got a huge, huge list of shrubs and flowers and plants and fruit trees, all this stuff that it doesn't kill. So it's safe to to spray in your flower beds where there are lots of flowers, dahlias are on the list. And that's one of the main things in that flower bed that I don't want to kill. There are a few shrubs and plants and things that I don't really care, but it's probably not going to kill them anyway because it just kills grassy weeds. So you don't want to get it on your lawn, obviously, but it's really awesome for flower beds because it kills all the Bermuda grass that has crept in there without killing the flowers or the bushes, which is sweet. I'm also gonna mix in one ounce of surfactant with this too. So it's one ounce of the high yield grass killer per gallon of water. That's a gallon. And then I'll do one ounce of the surfactant. That's Lawn Star Surfactant. I'll put a link to that in the description as well, uh, along with some other links to my favorite products from Lawn Star. So go check those out. I should mention that I'm not, I'm trying not to spray it right on the plants. I, it's not supposed to damage these plants. That's a dahlia. Um, but I still just don't want to spray it right on the plants just in case it does stress it out a little bit So I'm still avoiding them trying to get the grass that's all around them even under them But just and I'm trying not to spray it right on the plants also wearing my boots here uh, my PPE But I have to definitely remind myself not to step from in here where I've touched it with my boots and step out onto the chipping green That would be bad news also, I have this weed or this grass killer for flower beds in a different sprayer. That's the only thing that goes into this sprayer is the grassy weed killer for flower beds because I have Roundup in a different one. If you think about it, if I was using the same one for Roundup and for this and I accidentally got some on the plant, the Roundup, the residual Roundup that's left in the tank might damage the plant or might kill the plant. And then on the flip side, I don't want to use this stuff in the same tank that I use for spraying fertilizers and everything else on my lawn because this will kill Bermuda grass and you obviously don't want to do that. So this stuff gets its own tank. Okie dokie, I don't know where we left off, but here we are. All the grass is dead. I sprayed the nut sedge out here and I sprayed the grass with that uh, grass killer for flower beds that I showed you. And look, it works. I do not know how long it's been. I think it's been two weeks, maybe. That's a guess. I really don't know the dates of when I apply that stuff, but today I'm putting out mulch. And after I do this, this whole area should look a ton better. I'm pretty sure it's deer that have trampled my dahlias. So that's pretty frustrating, but it is what it is.
Whew. Well, thanks for watching everybody. That is all she wrote for the flower bed out here. Well, the project was tough, but it was worth it. This looks really nice now. And thanks to uh, Kyle over at Lake House Lawn Care for the shirt. You know, it absorbed uh, all the sweat to, to keep it off of my body and keep me cool today. Thank you, sir. Anyway, thanks for watching again, guys. Y'all have a good one. Hey guys, thanks for watching. So I told you that this weekend is my birthday. I'm turning 32. Hey, I know, getting old. But um, for my birthday, Lawn Star decided to do a discount. So they gave us a discount code. My discount code is Lawn Tools 30. Um, I'll make sure and put all the links in the description, all that fun stuff. But you got to use the code Lawn Tools 30 to get the discount. That's 30% off. 15015 or chelated liquid iron, uh, both 32 ounce. So the 32 ounce 15015 or chelated liquid iron, you can get 30% off through the end of October. For my birthday, okay, so that's not really for my birthday. They don't even know that it's my birthday, but this is for my birthday. Right here, these three up for grabs. Um, comment, say happy birthday. Whoever says happy birthday to me is gonna be entered in and I will do a drawing and a live video um, after, let's say, one week from when this video is posted. So uh, anyway, like I said, thanks for watching guys and uh, good luck. I guess I'll see you next time.